Hello friends and welcome back to another virtual story time with Miss Liz. Today we're going to be reading something a little bit different. We're going to be reading some short stories. Now some of you may have heard of Captain Underpants. Uh, that is a series that came out when I was little in elementary school and the author's name is Dave Pilkey and Dave Pilkey also wrote these books for younger kids about dragon. So the book we're going to read today is called Dragon Gets By and in it there are five different stories about dragon and all the stuff that he does during his day. So we're gonna read this together today. Are you ready? Dragon Gets By by Dave Pilkey. So here is the page that it's called the Table of Contents. It shows us all the things that we're gonna read in this book. Chapter one is called Dragon Sees the Day. Chapter two is called Housework. Chapter three is called Yard Work. Chapter four is called Shopping. And chapter five is called Good Night Dragon. So there's actually five different stories in this one book. Isn't that awesome? We're gonna begin, of course, with chapter one. Dragon sees the day. What do you see in this picture? Some beautiful flowers, wow. One warm and sunny morning, Dragon woke up and yawned. Oh, he was very groggy. That means he was still a little sleepy. And whenever Dragon woke up groggy, he did everything wrong. Let's see what's going to happen. First, he read an egg and he fried the morning newspaper. What? Hold on a minute. Are those two things switched? Shouldn't he be reading the newspaper and frying an egg? Uh-oh, what else did he do? Oh, then he buttered his tea and sipped a cup of toast. Shouldn't he have been buttering his toast and sipping a cup of tea? Oops. Finally, Dragon opened the door to see the day, but Dragon did not see the sun. He did not see the trees or the hills or the flowers or the sky. He only saw shadows. Do you see why? What door did he open? Uh-oh, looks like he opened the closet door and this was the door to the outside, but he opened the wrong door. And since it was dark, he thought, oh, it must still be nighttime. So, Dragon went back to bed. Look at that. He made a couple mistakes, huh? Let's see what happens next. Chapter two, housework. What kind of stuff do you do around the house? Do you help clean? Do you help make food sometimes? Do you help make sure that your things are in their right place? Maybe. Let's see what Dragon does. Dragon's floor was very dirty. He got his broom and began to sweep. Sweep, 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 sweep. When he was finished, the floor was still dirty. So Dragon swept again. Sweep, 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 sweep. But there was still dirt everywhere. There sure is lots of dirt on this floor, said Dragon. Dragon swept all morning long and into the afternoon. He carried out wheelbarrows filled with dirt from his house. All of his sweeping left a very big hole in his floor. Uh-oh. I think Dragon's floor might be made of dirt and he's actually taking his floor out of the house and making holes. Uh-oh. Finally, the male mouse came by. She looked at all the dirt outside the house. She looked at the big hole inside the house. What's going on in here? Asked the male mouse. I'm sweeping my floor, said Dragon. It's very dirty. But 
You have a dirt floor, said the male mouse. It's made of dirt. Oh, that explains it, doesn't it? Dragon looked at the hole he had swept and scratched his big head. Looks like you've made a mess, said the male mouse. Oh, looks like I've made a basement, said Dragon. <gasps> oh, these are pretty silly stories, aren't they? Can you believe it? We're already on the third one. Chapter three is called Yard Work. But what is Dragon doing out there? Is he vacuuming the grass? Well, that is just so silly. Let's see what else he's gonna get into. Dragon looked at the big pile of dirt in his yard. What am I gonna do with all this dirt? He wondered. He got a shovel and he dug a big, deep hole. Is he digging a hole to put the dirt in? But what about the dirt that he's taking out of the hole? I don't really know if this is a good idea either. <laughs> then Dragon scooped the dirt into the hole. Well, that takes care of that, said Dragon. Oh, now where did all this come from? You know, it's because he shoveled it out of the dirt on the, of the ground. Oh dear. Uh, let's see if Dragon is gonna have a little bit better luck in chapter four, shopping. Ooh, do you ever go shopping? Maybe you go with your family to the grocery store. Maybe you go to get other things that are not to eat. Let's see what Dragon's gonna do. Dragon looked in his cupboard, but there was no food at all. Nothing in there. This cupboard is bare, said Dragon. Time to go shopping. So Dragon got into his car and drove to the food store at the top of a hill. It was a very steep drive. Dragon loved to go shopping. He was a very wise shopper. He only bought food from the five basic food groups, which were <gasps> cheese curls from the dairy group, donuts from the bread group. He brought ketchup from the fruits and vegetables group. He bought pork rinds from the meat group. Mmm. I don't know, does this look like a lot of healthy food? Donuts and cheese curls and ketchup and pork rinds, ooh. And he bought fudge pops from the chocolate group, wow. Dragon had a balanced diet. Well, he certainly has to balance all these bags full of the food that he bought, well. He had so much food that he could not fit it all into his car. I know what I will do, said Dragon. I will eat some of the food now and then the rest will fit in the car. So, Dragon sat in the parking lot and he started to eat. He crunched up the cheese curls, he downed the donuts, he packed away the pork rinds and he ate and ate and ate until all the food was gone. Burp, said Dragon. Oh my goodness, look at him. He got so big because he ate all that food at one time. Now, Dragon could not fit into his car. Oh, what am I gonna do, cried Dragon. He thought and he thought and he thought and he scratched his big head. I know what I will do, said Dragon. I will push my car home. So Dragon pushed his car down the hill and the car began to roll faster and faster and faster. Uh-oh. And faster and faster. And faster and faster. Oh no, look, he crashed into a fence. He hit a mailbox, he hit some power lines. Oh dear, dear, dear. He hit a stop sign. Yikes. Finally, 
Dragon's car came to a stop right in front of his house. Boom! Well, I guess it's lucky that that big pile of dirt was there to catch the car, huh? All the excitement had made Dragon very hungry. He went into his kitchen and he looked in the cupboard. But remember, there was no food at all. Oh, this cupboard is bare, said Dragon. Time to go shopping. Oh dear, he's gonna have to do that all over again? Maybe he'll make different choices so he doesn't end up in the same situation again. Now, we are on our last chapter. Are you guys ready? Chapter five is called Good Night Dragon. It had been a long, busy day, and now it was bedtime. Dragon was very groggy, so he brushed his head and he combed his teeth. Oops, shouldn't he be brushing his teeth and combing his head? Hmm, more backward stuff. He watered his bed and he crawled into his plants. Wait a minute. Shouldn't he have watered his plants and crawled into his bed? This dragon likes to do a lot of things backwards. He crawled into his plants and he fell fast asleep. And that is the end. This page shows a little bit of information about the author, Dave Pilkey. And it also shows you how you can draw a dragon all by yourself. Wasn't that a nice story? And guess what? Tomorrow, I have another dragon book that we can read together. I hope you enjoyed this little comic relief today, and I will see you tomorrow for more great books. Thanks for watching.